Hi there, this is uh, Richard Denning here from uh, UK Games Expo and Medusa Games um, and um, over on the UK uh, Games Expo Twitch stream today there's a quite a lot of conversation going on about UK Games Expo and Virtually Expo. Uh, one of the things that has come up in the conversation has been the uh, the general how the trade hall is going to work, how things are going to work for exhibitors. So the purpose of this particular recording is just to give an idea about that, a bit of an overview. Now exhibitors are going to get a exhibitor pack in the next day or two, uh, which will go into this in much more detail and explain to them how they can set up their virtual stand and how they can get themselves ready to start interfacing with the virtual show. Uh, but to give you an, an idea here, let's have a, let's have a look at the website. Um, and. Uh, this is the website uh, for Virtually Expo, and if you go to What's On, um, you can go down here to the Virtual Trade Hall, uh, and the Virtual Trade Hall uh, is a representation of how we sort of um, how the hall might look. This is a place um, holding sort of page at the moment. Eventually, this will go through to a proper um, trade hall map. Now, when I say map, this is a virtual expo, so there isn't actually a hall it doesn't exist it's all just there in the cyberspace um, so the map as such is more is just basically a random representation of squares um, but it'll give you an idea uh, of what is available so there are various ways that you can explore this virtual trade hall um, you can scroll around uh, a map which will look at something like this on different devices this is on a phone uh, there'll be bigger screens of course on on computers and on uh, tablets uh, and you'll be able to click on um, the, the various squares representing stands. This is just a hypothetical layout at the moment, obviously, as we're playing around. Uh, we're not quite sure exactly which exhibitors are going to be involved with the show yet, um, um, but eventually we will we will be able to publish that information. Now, the colours of the stands give some idea about the type of the um, of exhibitor that they are, what their sort of primary category is, um, and um, uh, and some of the exhibitors, the sort of um, some of the sponsors and so on, may have logos. Now you'll be able to explore uh, the stand by this bit, this bit here at the bottom, tour random, and then searches and filter. So the tour allows a um, direct sort of tour around several stands that you choose. So in other words, you can predetermine a route around the virtual hall. The random is just what it says. You, you basically will get a random stand and you can have a bit of fun just sort of randomly wandering the hall as you might do uh, at a real show. Uh, or you maybe um, have a specific target in mind. You want to know exhibitors that do certain types of games, maybe role-playing games, and you want to um, just see them on the map and that is what the search and the filter functions are for. Uh, now when you visit a stand uh, you will represented by something like this. Uh, on a bigger screen the, the, you'll be able to see more of the stand. On a phone you'll have to scroll down. Uh, there'll be obviously logos and a brief description of the of the exhibitor um, and then there are these icons uh, for um, about, talk, products, events and links. Um, these may uh, be adjusted or altered a little bit but it gives you a general idea. Uh, the about is a description the talk is how you can interact with the um, with that exhibitor. How what format, which could be Discord or Zoom uh, or Twitch or something like that, or text-based um, um, interaction. Um, the products will give you a listing of sort of maybe top items they want to they want to show you. Maybe their new releases. Uh, the events um, is a uh, opportunity for the exhibitors to put on events at certain times on their stand. So they might say that, for example, at 12 o'clock on the Saturday, a particular designer will be on the stand and will be um, available for a, um, a conversation uh, about their products and things. Maybe you can play a demo with a particular uh, designer, for example. Maybe they have a competition or a tournament of some form. Uh, so that was how that's what events are about. Uh, and these will these will be listed both on the on the individual exhibitor stand, but also in a general index of exhibitors, so you can see what's coming up soon, or you can look for across the whole weekend and you can plan your your expo around those those events. Uh, and they'll work a bit like the other events, such as tournaments and role playing games and live entertainment and all of that kind of thing. The links will be a link to wherever uh, the exhibitor wants to. Potentially allow you to go, such as their online shop. 
it might be uh, to their Twitch stream, um, it might be uh, to an uh, a, uh, appointment system for booking an appointment to, to see them and have a chat with them at some point over the, over the weekend. Now, from the exhibitor's point of view, how this information will work its way through to the website involves going to their, uh, their trader portal. Uh, so exhibitors will recognise this. They're going to their trader portal, um, and providing they've got an account that is linked to a to to a trade portal, uh, and if they haven't, they've got to get in touch with me, and I get that all set up for them. And in there, there is the stands tab, and in the stands tab, there will be these virtual stands V whatever. Uh, these have been placed on already for exhibitors that had a stand uh, that are that booked a stand at the show, whether or not they rolled over or can't cancel because of the pandemic or whatever. Um, but uh, co-exhibitors um, uh, can also be added on, uh, and new exhibitors uh, can apply for a stand. Now, for existing exhibitors, uh, as a thank you for supporting the show, um, over the years we have a, um, a, a simple... Uh, free stand new exhibitors um, there is a stand fee but it's just 150 pounds for a virtual stand um, for the weekend just to give us a bit of income um, to help cover the costs of running this okay so if you go into your stand um, then stand details here expands out and it gives you uh, the name of the stand the description um, of the stand the um, long description which can include a certain amount of, of formatting including say links to specific locations um, an opportunity to choose up to three categories um, that describe you as an exhibitor which will be searchable and then a primary category which will determine what color your stand is on the virtual trade hall map um, and then a place where you place your links such as perhaps your online shop or your twitch stream uh, and finally uh, you can add multiple links by the way there isn't really a limit to that uh, you could have links to uh, videos talking about your game that are available when you're not actually able to man the stand for example uh, or to an appointment system for people to book an appointment to see you uh, the other thing that they can do is to go into manage events and in manage events they can they can submit an event uh, and this is how those exhibitor events that we spoke about will get onto the system so they'll be able to enter the relevant information categories event names stand uh, name the link to where the event is going to be held uh, the time that the the event will will occur um, and uh, descriptions and so on and so forth. Uh, these events will then become visible uh, on the virtual trade hall once we once we go live, and also in the lists of events. Um, so you can um, so you can have a look at what's coming up and what's uh, what's going to be happening over the weekend, and decide this is um, for visitors to be able to decide where they want to go. Uh, so I think that, that that is a general overview about how. Um, how that is going to work. Um, I hope you found that useful. Um, uh, we are planning to do a few more videos of this sort for uh, in the run-up to the Virtual Expo to give people ideas about how it's all going to work. I mean, we're all used to just turning up at the door at a convention. A lot of this is new to us, and uh, there's a lot of technology here. Sometimes it doesn't work. We were recording things earlier on today for the uh, uh, for the UK Games Expo Twitch stream, and actually, um, I think I think one of our cables has got kicked out, and basically, rather than being on a wired connection, uh, we were on a uh, Wi-Fi, which of course doesn't doesn't work as well, particularly when you're trying to host a Zoom chat with Tony and Millie at the same time, and so on and so forth. So, um, I think we're all going to have to get used to the best way of making use of this technology and the best setup that will be the, be, be as reliable. Um, as as possible um, and I think we're going to have more on that um, going forward um, so uh, that's all for now and uh, more from me later